Yo, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, today we're going to be dealing with, uh, that's right, Windows 7 mods. Now, you see me do some uh, default login screen mods before with OS 10, but now it's Windows 7's turn. Let's get started, guys. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, wait a second, Windows 7 just came out. How old could it be already? I understand it still looks kind of shiny and new, but uh, this has been my PC, so this is kind of what my show is all about. Cut a brother a break. So now, the first thing we're going to do is talk about, uh, like I said, pimping out that default login screen. So we're going to put your own image on there, make it a little more your own. Uh, now, what you're going to need to do in order to do that is a couple of registry tweaks, and you need to know some, uh, some image size limitations and resolution limit, uh, limitations as well. But we're going to put those all up in the show notes at the end of the show, so don't even trouble yourself with it right now. So now the first thing we're going to do is uh, jump into that registry. Now, I know that uh, going into the registry makes people sweat, myself included, but pretty much that's what Pimpin's all about, so we're going to do it. So now the first thing you're going to notice, if you go down to your Start menu in Windows 7, search function's a little different. So you no longer do Start Run, you just go right in here, type in Reg Edit, and that's going to bring it up for you, you'll see right there. I've already got mine up for the sake of time, so we'll just pop that guy up. And uh, if you've ever been to a Windows uh, uh, operating system registry, you know that the paths are ridiculous. And uh, I've actually got some uh, cheat sheets here. You gotta be kidding me, Matt. Guys, you gotta see this. I asked for cue cards or for some show notes. This is what I get. This is what my director has given me. This is the budget at Pimp My PC. Can you believe that? Matty, come on, buddy. Help a brother out, man. Give me some cue cards. Ooh, it's cool, it's cool. I know my place. Back is the host. All right, so we're in RegEdit, and uh, as I said, we're gonna, flash that, uh, we're gonna flash that path up for you and keep it in the show notes. Thank you for not making me say it, Maddie. I appreciate it. Um, so the first thing you're gonna see is this Reg D Word uh, registry key, uh, OEM background. That's the one we're gonna edit. You right click on it, click on modify, and we're gonna change that value data from zero to one. We're gonna do that, we're gonna say okay. And just so you know, guys, I'm not a developer, I'm not a coder, I have no idea what this is actually doing. All I know is that you have to do this in order to make this pimp work. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, head down to our next uh, registry edit. And again, we're going to put it up for you guys, so don't even worry about it. But in my next one, under System, you're going to see that that D word key isn't there, so we're just going to create it. Right click anywhere on the right panel here, and we're going to go D word 32 bit value, and we're going to name it use OEM background. Now it's case sensitive, so that's important to remember. So that's done. We right click it, modify it, and we're going to change that value from zero to one. And we're going to say okay. And there you go, guys. There's the registry edits. Those are done. Not too bad, right? So wipe the sweat. Now it's time to save that default image uh, that you want to act as your login page, put it where it needs to go, assuming you already have it, and I'm assuming you do. So where you want to set that up is in one of your system folders. And again, guys, pretty long path. We're going to put it up for you, so don't even sweat it. Um, but that's going to go in Windows System 32 OOBE. Now, if I go back one, you may or may not see that info folder in there. I'm not really sure if the different iterations of the operating system have it or don't. I'm running home premium. I didn't have it, so I had to create it myself. You might have to as well. So we'll go back one more so you see. You just create the info folder. Within info, I created a backgrounds folder, and within that, that's where I saved my image. I know it seems convoluted, but you'll have this pimp done in five minutes tops. Um, another thing to remember is you have to name this background default, uh, capital D, it's case sensitive, show notes, check them, you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do, just real quick, just to make mine work, we're gonna take this JPEG extension off of it, say okay. Now if I hit control, alt, delete, Let's watch some magic. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you guys know that I'm into the DJing, loving the vinyl, and this is definitely a little more keeping with my personality. Um, and just to let you know, uh, Andrew Moore Crispin, our own Andrew Moore Crispin, brought this uh, to my attention, so thanks a lot for that, AMC. And where you guys can get it is, uh, is this uh, website, uh, Groovy Post is actually where I found it. Um, really good information on, uh, to get this changed for you pretty quick, and uh, dope. That's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out those show notes and uh, so you can get those ungodly registry paths because, God, I don't want to repeat them again. Change that default login screen. Windows 7 is being pimped out, guys. I'm Lucas. Keep it unique. See ya!